and you're here UGC welcome 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 again I just want to personally thank everybody who's watching me right now hopefully you are all subscribers who are watching me right now and if you are a big virtual hug to you hug and kisses and love the premise of this platform this is our sister platform to my original YouTube channel and here I wanted to get into some techniques that I learned mind techniques that I learned in my personal library things that I'm reading and I want to share everything that inspires me that helps me to grow that helps me to change that helps me to become a better woman I have created this platform as a vehicle to funnel that through to you. So I have another book, another ebook that I had stumbled across a while back and it's a short read. Let's get into it. This book, this particular book, ebook that I got, um, I have access to on Scribe, is called How to Be a Femme Fatale right? And the author is Julie Grossman, I believe. And she goes into what you need to do to set up your mind, prepare yourself mentally and physically for becoming a femme fatale. And the femme fatale is pretty much a, a boss, B-I-T-C-H, if you will, a woman who is not victimizing people, but a woman who knows exactly what she wants. She goes after a target. She is unashamed about her tactics, how she feels about herself and what she wants, all of that packaged into one. And she's just lethal about it, unapologetic. A femme fatale is just a woman who is unapologetic. So she breaks it into two phases. She talks about the inner being here. And this goes into feminine types, dark feminine energy and so forth. And the phase two of it is seduction and manipulation, which goes into how does the femme fatale treat men? Uh, the three ultimate rules of femme fatale detachment and so forth. A very interesting read. But I want to get to, let's see, seven. So here is where we get a little, get into the meat a little bit. Outside of the realm of men, my life had changed dramatically too. I was now confident, mysterious and seductive, and a seductive woman I never thought I could be before. This ebook is a collection of what I've learned she goes on to say, obsession is an uncomfortable, painful, extremely distressing phenomenon. It takes a huge emotional toll on you and gives people a lot of power over you. And contrary to popular belief, obsession is purely psychology. You can occupy anyone's mind with practice and control. Right? So let's see here. Learning how to seduce, manipulate, and conquer isn't just to teach you how to destroy men. It also protects you from being hurt by them, UGC. If you don't want to annihilate a man, I still suggest reading this book. It will teach you how to avoid them being able to annihilate you. Depriving yourself of this awareness will only hinder you, even if you choose not to use it. Knowledge is power, ladies. So she goes into phase one of the inner being, right? And she's suggesting that you choose which type, which archetype you want to be. She says there are two most poignant forms of femininity, which are dark and light. As this ebook is for femme fatales, she, of course, is going to concentrate on vixens and sirens and that sort of thing. 
A lot of women choose to only acknowledge their light feminine side whilst attempting to suppress their dark femininity. They don't tap into rage, UGC. A lot of us have rage that can transform our lives that we're not tapping into. The ability to seduce and manipulate and even manifest because they're told these are masculine traits. So she's saying we don't tap into that dark side of us because we're told, especially nowadays with the manosphere and you know that climate, that the traits of being direct, being purposeful, being cunning, being clever are only the traits that men can enjoy. This is not true. Additionally, some women are completely controlled by their dark femininity, falling prey to it and letting it consume them. Untamed dark feminine energy is very dangerous and results in extreme emotional, sexual, and physical complications. Now, let me pause for a second here. How many of you frequent channels where content is about totally, utterly obliterating men and you find that the commentators have a vitriol and a venom that they are consumed by. Like there is, there's never a glimpse of, of hope, of kindness, of love, of, um, of understanding. In those types of women, they are purely about trying to take the heads off of men. How many of you have gone to platforms and absorbed content from women who are femme fatales, but they are totally dark? Listen, that's bad for your health. That is bad for your health. She goes on to say, the trick is to access your dark femininity and control it without letting it control you. Many TikTok sources constantly discuss the dark femininity, but don't explore the risks or even explain the broad extent of its effects. The dark feminine is a powerful entity that you need to fully understand before you channel, which luckily this book will provide you the tools for. So UGC, you got to be careful that you're not consumed by the dark goddess or the dark feminine energy. You can become a victim of your own plans, your own schemes. And we want to avoid that because that's going to cause ill health, stress, strife, and you're going to go crazy in so many words. So she says, don't underestimate the divine feminine energy. You already have it locked within you. Before you can move on to controlling others and manipulating the world around you, the first thing you must do is transform yourself. The everyday woman does not have power. She is low in power. Normal women do not flourish, UGC. Normal women are not powerful. Divine women are. So what are the traits? How, how to know if you haven't tapped into your dark feminine energy? She asks questions here. Are you dependent on others, friends or partners? Experiencing shame and self-doubt? Are you struggling with repressed emotions, desires and trauma? Are you emotionally unstable, not in control of the release of your emotions or reactive to external behaviors. So are you ladies reactionary? Everything gets you riled up and upset. Then you're not in control of your dark goddess energy. Are you insecure? Are you unable to predict the behaviors of those around you? Some of us don't have a clue. We can't read the room. You got to be able to read the room, UGC. Wanting the ability, the ability to seduce and manipulate, but unable to do so. Quick to lose friends and unable to sustain positive relationships with others without conflict. So UGC, a lot of you um, pat yourselves on the backs for alienating yourself 
for being unlikable because you figure that somehow that is power in itself. If you, if you can't turn people on, then you turn people off, right? And that is the antithesis of really where you're trying to go. And it's powerlessness. We don't want to walk around here, look, you know, being forgotten, being invisible. We don't want our reputations to be that of um, lack of cooperation, lack of respect, negative energy. Being a femme fatale is really about being able to draw people in. It's about magnetism. If you haven't watched the previous video that I did about developing per personal magnetism, please go to that video here on this platform and listen to it because mentalism is about magnetism. You can't be out here repelling people and think you're in control of anything, especially when that's not giving you the results that you want, right? So those are the characteristics of somebody who doesn't have it. Now, a woman who does have dark energy, what does that look like? She's passionate, powerful, intensity. She knows manipulation, control, and what? Magnetism. Dark femininity comes when you strip back and delve deep into your rawest form. One myth about the dark feminine woman is that it will turn you into a stoic, cold residue of a woman. This is wrong. It involves connecting with your emotions, your, your emotional roots, and connecting with the most feminine form of yourself to facilitate the control of your emotions. So dark goddess energy is simply about harnessing and being able to control your emotions, UGC. It's not about blood on the dance floor. It's not about stabbing people in the back. She goes on to say, dark feminism is not cruelty, evil, or bitterness. It represents chaos, seduction, and destruction, and can be manipulated to challenge and control the masculine energy. So that's what we're trying to do here. She lists a few dark feminine energies, Kali, Lilith, Isis, Inanna, right? She lists some women of our day and time who represent dark feminine energy. Angelina Jolie, Alexa Demi, Rihanna, Megan Fox, right? So what are we trying to do here? All of this is about emotional control. So part one, say hello to your dark side. Carl Jung, a depth psychologist, conceived the idea of a shadow with it being described as a part of our identity that we conceal in a day-to-day -day life. Most often we tend to suppress and feel shame towards the shadow aspects of our personality. We hide them away in fear that they make us terrible or evil people. In actuality, this is not the case. Everyone has a shadow self and in turn, we all have shadow work to do. So what does the shadow work do? It unveils primitive human emotions such as rage, shame, jealousy, and burrows down to discover their origins. So what are we trying to do for the most part, UGC? We are trying to unearth our shame. 